Hello everyone, a little for Smith here. It is Wednesday again, so let's do another Encyclopedia Dramatica reading of the article. Um, this article is vegan or vegetarian, so let us let us just go, shall we? Starting off, this is a bit of a long one. They're starting off with some quotes. It's also like eleven o'clock almost, so it's a bit late. Now the spirit saketh expressively in that latter that in the latter times some shall depart from faith given heath to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils commanding com com commanding um, to abstain from meats which God hath created and to be received and f with thanksgiving of them which believe and know, and know the truth and that was Timothy Four one dash three. I don't know how Bible verses work. For one believe that may, that may he may that that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs, and that was the Romans. So a vegetarian is the homosexual of the culinary world. Although unlike faggots, they do not eat meat, a trendy form of self sustenance. It involves avoiding meat and only eating vegetables and roughage. This, ass this assures a healthy lifestyle ac accompanied by, by its various benefits like a drastic weight loss and, and the need to defecate twice as much as the actual human, av as the a average human being. <laughs> that is true, especially if you eat Brussels sprouts or really greasy vegetables. Secondary factors are the pro are the princess of the pit and the pea. The more you ban, the more you ban, the more the more there is to fuss about. To fuss about, the desire for the blandest diet possible, or simply a severe hatred for plants. Vegetarian, ve vegetarian comes from the Cherokee word for bad hunter. Usually, the vegetarian will get cancer from not eating meat. It yeah, that kind of true because you do need meat for like the goodness, like the the protein and the iron in 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 the meat. So you need like a healthy balance, in other words. To counter this, <laughs> um, to counter this, it is not, it is it is not 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 know how how vegans acquire protein. This. As this question has baffled scientists for at least a hundred years, this was this is due to the fact that vegans find anything made by animals to be repulsive. So in other words, you don't like animals enough. In other words, and there you go, carnivore really happy and vegan really sad. They're really sad. And there's some bacon. There's some bacon down here. I'm not clicking it just in case it sends me to like a picture of a penis or something. Animal abuse. One, I don't like meat. Two, I don't like meat because killing animals is wrong and un unnecessary. Fa farm animals live in horrible conditions, or not ours, con conditions, and are tortured only to be slaughtered soon after without painkillers. Trust me, you should go fully fucking halal um, owners. You're fucking. The, the people that do all the halal lot are the most evil people on the planet. I mean like they talk to their animals um, by like killing them in the most horrible ways so that's the thing is like even though I'm, I'm not a vegan I'm not a vegetarian I love eating animals I love animals as well but you do need to eat meat however I do believe in um, keeping them healthy keep keeping them safe keeping them happy a happy animal is happy meat um, and when you do kill them you've got a light to like pot them down calmly and safely like so they don't feel any pain like stun them or something so they'll like go out full full to sleep and there you go with halal they just fucking beat the shit out of the animals and so they end up, end up bleeding out on the floor it's horrible how they do it the halal way uh, oh, I forgot where the bloody hell was I? Oh, here we are. I need to be t slaughtered soon after without painkillers. Unlike human fetuses and newborns, animals are living beings. 
With feelings and intelligence, it's just the same. Hunting is also wrong. What did those poor animals do to you? Well, over in England, we do have fox hunting, and that's a well loved sport over here, so yeah. <laughs> you do not want to get on the bad side of us fox hunters, you know. Besides, meat is extremely unhealthy and can easily make you obese or give you cancer. In a way, that's true. That's why you got to, like, have a healthy balance. The first answer is as boring as hell. The second answer, however, is full of foul and lulls. If animal abuse isn't funny, ED would lose many of its page views. It's strange that CP and the pain series will make most veggies a lull. But not the image of a pig being decapitated. Oftentimes, vegetarian vegetarians will also claim that the meat eaters are oppressing them. Well, along with killing unwanted pets, Peter oppresses meat eaters. So get the fuck out. We have an age restricted video, which you are definitely not going to show. You got to remember, I got to I got to keep these videos up somehow. Uh, all but uh, co controversy. Despite what the group stands for, their actions differ from their benefits. Oh, this is that, um, them, like, animal lovers, like animal shaggers, that sort of thing. Um, their actions differ from their beliefs. In the recent controversy within the group, a predator named Hugo de Monges was outed for preying on numerous women. Direct Action Everywhere gave their statement on the matter as seen on several blogs. It is of vital importance that women feel safe in the DX community. In the past few days we have learnt that there was a serious breach of trust on the part of one of our organisers, Hugo Dimitris. We take this breach very seriously and we are taking all steps guided by the woman harmed to ensure that Hugo is accountable for all the, for all the harms he caused. On, on a forward going basis we are designating a few female members to our conflict resolution committee to be available especially where, where there is a concern over sexual harassment or misconduct we absolutely encourage all activists in our network to reach out to those fa fa factors if any issues arise and we will ho hold confidential and we will hold con contravential any any information provided to us in this regard. We also will will provide resources for women who want to reach out to an outside group regarding to regarding the issue. In other words, they just want to keep it in their in their little group. They they don't want anyone else to know about it. In the meantime, Hugo will be stepping back from his role as an organizer for an in indefinite future and will seek out resources and counselling on consent in culture and sexual harassment. And it was direct action everywhere Facebook post. Mm. Mm. Well their action <clears throat> their action taken was applauded by many members but numerous others found it to be unethical and cut ties with the group. There are numerous other sexual predators in their ranks. Um, Dominguez um, has since been found to be organising and socialising with highly visible organisers. The, the controversy grows due to the fact that fast, action, fast direct action everywhere also harbours a female sexual predator, well-known well organiser some, a, a foreign name, I can't fucking pronounce it. She herself has stated that she treats women as trophies. Mm. That's the thing, it's like all these like, animal rights activists, you really do not know what they do behind closed doors, don't you? It's always good to poke your nose in and find out about these things because you do not know what they get up to when no one's looking, in other words. My good de deeds are are still taking place while I conduct, while I continue to treat women like trophies, to self-destruct and of course I continue to eat the flesh and drink the secretions of non-human animals. Mm. A white creepy lot there then. Health. Although eating meat is more likely to make you fat, vegeta vegetarians, vegetarians, um, 
shit twice as often as meat eaters, which they used to grow more vegetables than as good fertiliser. You get twice the amount of shit for half the amount of food. <laughs> Under, the sh they're under their shining allure of health, vegetarians also suffer from excessive flatulence. Yep, that's another, that's another thing that you get from eating vegetables all the time. This multifactorial phenomenon is, is medicated by a few diet choices. Firstly, to sustain their daily protein needs, a health conscious ve vegetarians commonly opt for beans, beans over the salty, greasy cheese products laden with trans fats. God, I ain't, ain't heard that phrase in a long time. City in the antioxidants, anti-aging and free and free radical ra radical scavenging abilities of the superfood. That's another one that I haven't heard of in a long time. However, beans greatly increase the volume of flatulence. Great, great companions with beans in a um, vegetarian meal um, crucifies veg veg vegetables, stre strengthen the, o the foul odour, a perfect synergy with beans. So if you eat Brussels sprouts as well, that's that's another big one. Um, how long have I been recording for, by the way? I just want to check my levels, that's fine. Another prominent possibility is a snacking. Living a healthy lifestyle, sugar makes any any makes many vegetarians cringe, forcing them to distance themselves from a great number of delicacies. Co compound with the lack of animal products and the meaty goodness, they had to settle on guilt-free desserts and drinks with artificial sweeteners. Unfortunately, these chemicals are poorly absorbed into human body, and are fermented by the um, colon bacteria, producing a continuous surge of poisonous gas. Although vegetarians can uh, voluntarily hold, withhold their fart, the gas will eventually come out of the mouth, uh, that bear, possibly causing ha halitosis together with the widespread cover um, among them. As a result, vegetarians, especially newly tuned individual, smells horrible. A similar pattern exists in stricter diets. If vegetarians look like toot like toot like a trumpet, then vegans would get it get gas at, like a <laughs> factory chimney. Paldo diet followers would also share would would be like plain engines. Flip uh, f f would also uh, would be mute and decay since they are already dead of malnutrition while others are farting. Vegetarians of, often cause air pollution as a result of farting like cattle and going in, into log, logical and just reasons as to why they are vegetarians. That's, in other words, they're just full of a lot, they're just full of hot air. Pro tip, do not attempt to troll, to troll those who support your point of view. Yeah, that's true. Warning, becoming a veggie will turn you into a woman. Although being a veggie is generally thought to be good for you, um, for men eating nothing but soya, a shitty alternative for most ve vegan and, and, and vegan and vegetarian fags, can increase your risk of losing one's meat. Soya contains a chemical known as <laughs> known as goo, which is a sim which is similar to uh, to to east to estrogen, estrogen, a major female hormone. As any good transsexual knows, men, many received female hormones begin to take on female traits such as titties, genital bleeding, usually after his dick falls off, and eventually a mangina. Other effects resemble PMS such as being widely emotional and generally being self-righteous, self attention whoring douchebag. However, some argue that this isn't the result of what, what vegetarians eat, it's simply the result of becoming, of being a vegetarian. Eating, eating like a veggie is like doing foreplay but with no real sex and 
T.O.W. proves that eating soya can turn men into real pussies and that's like a video thing. Religion. Some people deny themselves um, the succulent flesh of delicious animals because of their gods or, gosse or go goddesses say so. These people are nuts and should be, <laughs> should be ethnically cleansed. In other words, they should be shot. <laughs> non non com comfly non non comfly um, some people just want to stir up trouble never eat out with these people not only will they complica complicate your order they will tell everyone li pretending to listen that they are sheep for not for not bre breaking away from these savage society that refuses to eat tea, tofu instead of bacon and eggs these people are just doing it for the lulls and should be avoided yep Basically, keep away from all vegans and vegetarians, and you should be fine. Types of vegetarians: straightforward vegetarians. Typically, these do not eat meat, but they they have no trouble drinking milk, milk, and eating eggs, or consuming other animal products. So that's the difference, because like, a vegetarian um, can eat some animal products and vegetables, but a vegan nothing to do with animals and nothing to do with what animals produce they they just eat solely on vegetarian um like fruit and vegetables and lab manufactured um, meat that contains poison some eat fish but those are called um pressicorians pessa being defied from the greek word or for posor not not that most girls are who are P Pascalians are lesbians because they would rather eat fish than put meat in their mouths. Some vegetarians have have also have no ethical problems in eating chicken despite chickens being warm blooded and cute members of the animal kingdom. So much for don't eat meat, it's animal abuse. That's the only that's the thing, it's like I know a vegan that will that will not eat meat apart from fish. They'll they'll eat fish, but no no other meat. So yeah, there you go. Some are like that. Vegans rummaging through trash cans to find something to eat, despite the fact they have money. Yes, really. Vegans are vegans are believed that it's okay to eat anything as long as it's free. Often basement dwellers, their mothers continue to cook for them well into their twenties. Most homeless people are also vegans, and well, they do dumpster diving all the time. A vegan is like a talking raccoon, but not nearly as tasty when you serve it as a main dish after running it over. Mainly because a normal raccoon enjoys a better diet, and that makes more meat tender. Meat more tender. Raw food vegetarians. The raw food movement grew from an from an in joke among among M Manhattan chefs to one of the to to such test attested that trendy up 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 broadly mobile people won't eat anything as long as it's priced extraordinarily this bizarre style um spun out of control and its advocates refused to cook food at the temperature above 116 fahrenheit raw raw offal at body temperature is a special favorite vegan the hitler of the food chain the vegans are the worst one they are fucking toxic they are vegans are the pure vegetarians who will not eat meat who will not eat eat any any animal or or the use of animal based products whatsoever so even honey seriously this is often accompanied by the fact that they troll everyone and try to convert people to their degenerate cult a uh, cult they normally hypocritically claim meat eaters are trying to oppress them, e even though in, a in, in actually they are oppressing meat eaters and meat eaters are re retaliating. The term is in fact stolen from its original meaning, i.e., someone from the vicinity of the vigor soda system. The vegan communities are a great source of trolling fun. Vegans are Vegans are not merely suicidal due to their hatred for their own, um, for their own species, are, are in, in inevitably moralist, 
as judgmental as as e even I should go it's fucking words um Christians at at the worst n known by known by other vegans as vegans as veg vegamicals sorry some vegans are some some vegans have been known to troll and to troll anti vegans back a good way to troll ve a vegan is to ask them if they're allowed to swallow cum that's the argument that i um that that i always use as i if you're a vegan and you suck cock and you swallow cum you're not a vegan are you because you're you you got someone's meat in your mouth and you're basically swallowing babies so yeah just think about that come on now <laughs> in in rebuttal all they would say is that human semen is released as as a natural secretion ask them if human breast milk is, breast milk is vegan it's not and and they must only feed babies with their d delicious vegan soy milk which will kill a baby the babies grow up to be just as smart and intellectual as their mum if you combine the mental laziness of hippies and the self-righteousness of the actual of the average fundamentalist and the intellectual rigor of the average teenager see below you get your average vegan vegans love to bitch about unhealthy about how unhealthy meat and dairy is and will often goad impressionable young vegetarians into becoming vegans to be fair i'd rather be a friend of a vegetarian than a vegan at the minute because it's like it's fucking toxic if they manage not to kill them unfortunately they do not realize that that is is that cutting major major parts of the human diet in any case it's as far as unhealthier as eating a cheeseburger once in a while furthermore some vegans are noted for their oppression to standard forms of birth control as animal proteins are used in production of latex and, and lamb skin is is well made out of lamb nowadays vegans like to live in spaces like california especially in san francisco berkeley Seabastol, and portland Ideally, the future now is is hazy. Vegans will fall upon each other in in other each other in cannibalistic lust, and all and all of Brooklyn will vanish in an orgy of blood and bone. As for now, sad as it is, vegan may cast his his or her size zero shadow upon you or me at any time, interrupting our our eternal and primal quest. For the perfect, for the per, for the perfect rack of baby seal ribs, dol, river dolphin snout soup, or or filler of a bald eagle. Oh god, that made me hungry then. Fruitarians, there's always some that takes things too far. In the sordid world of the vegetarian, this person is a fruitarian. Fruitarians believe that vegetarian that, that vegetables can make you can make you feel, and you shouldn't can feel and, and you shouldn't eat food unless it has died out of natural causes they are like the al qaeda of food and have links to various animal extremist groups many of whom attack children if they dare to eat the sacred flesh of an animal especially even the sand niggers aren't this aren't this batshit crazy fruitarians are the mortal enemies of lime cat and people with huntington's disease mm. We have a slightly rude picture here, but I'm pretty sure I can get away with it because they're vegetables um, grown in like rude shapes. <laughs> um, who becomes vegans? Um, Forty, uh, sixteen-year-old girls. Vegan, uh, vegetarianisms. It's like bisexuality. Teenage girls always have a stage of it, but they realise how lame it is and go back to meat. Since most teenage girls go back to insane over anything kawaii they find the idea of eating baby lambs with big brown eyes horrible this can only be cured by being shown that meat belongs in the mouth yes <laughs> there's a lot of 16 year old girls who do that most vegetarians uh, vegetarian girls are also pro 
Anna because they are obsessed with their weight. Oh, um, that's some um, bulimic girls and that, yeah. Unless they are Sna Snape's Sna Snape Snogger or internet diseased of having a Keats burger or two won't hurt them or at least up upgrade them from <laughs> anorexic to bulimia. Hippies. They don't actually eat the vegetables or anything for that matter, but they do smoke a lot of grass. Further proof of being a vegetarian leads to being a, a, li a liberal who preaches equality, but usually ends up shitting themselves <laughs> and, trembling and, <laughs> and trembling to bits. Buddhists. Because they believe in reincarnation, they think eating meat is a form of cannibalism. Since many of them have the IQ of a cow, smoking stuff they shouldn't, they may be right. Liberals, since they believe anything, anything, to, everything deserves rights, except v vegetables and unborn babies, they don't eat meat. They most likely to be vegans. While most pe, while most of the people already mentioned will probably go off ve ve vegetarianism. Eventually, the ones that are die, the, the ones, the, these ones are the di, are the diehards, and most epic source source of lols, who will rant and rave about why it is evil to eat meat because you're killing helpless animals. Then try to kill you <laughs> for not agreeing with them. Although some rich fucks are vegans, such as Weird Weird Al y Yankos. And, back, and bullshit artists of Rise Against um, m most are poor students with poor um, college prof professors who probably couldn't afford more than soup noodles anyway. Vegans like the flavours of their noodles with the tears of subsided farmers. <clears throat> they are also fond of coming out with great mind, mind, mind fucks at di dinner time Eagerly, if the eggs are on the menu, a vegan friend will announce a well. Chicken period monthlies. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> because whining is, is, a te is, a, is a tenet of, of veganism. Many emos and scene fags are vegan and ex ex exceptions to, poor, to poorer vegans if they are attracted to the concept of bitching about something um, largely irrelevant <coughs> to them, li 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 largely, um, largely irrelevant to them in the usually middle class, perfect middle class lives. <coughs> Animal haters. That's why a small but growing minority of vegetarians are animal haters. It's is due to the realization that all veg vegetable diet kills more animals than supplemented diets, than meat supplemented diets. The animal loving vegetarians try to argue about about this fact saying that 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 cows are more important life forms than mice, voles and field animals. But if you're going to argue that a certain living form are more important than than, than others, then you should quickly realise that humans are more important than cows. Nazis Hitler was a vegetarian. It's our fact. I, I actually knew that. I actually knew that for a long time. <clears throat> he thought it was wrong to eat poor defenseless, poor, def poor defen defenseless animals, but thought it was, it was totally awesome to herd Jews into ovens. In this defense, even meat eaters don't, don't norm, don't normally eat rats. Unlike liberals. Even the Nazis gave gave up eventually. Of course, vegetarians to try to de try to to deny that Hitler was in fact a vegetarian. That he ate meat only on occasion. These same people also claim that Lincoln was a nigger loving liberal. Troll the next vegan you see with these videos. Yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, that's a private video. Thank God, I'm not watching animals dying. I can't fucking stand that. Fucking hell. Yeah, get out of my face. <laughs> <clears throat> There's still more of this. Fucking hell. Vegan welfare. I'm gonna take a drink. I can't find my bottle. 
it, just got, it, fe it fell over. Oh god, no, my bottle fell over. Vegan welfare with the ex exception of a with the oh Jesus Christ, my um my um bottle's fizzing over. Mm. I'm doing this in one take. Don't care. Doing this in one take. My throat is so dry. Luckily, it didn't get on my keyboard, so I'm okay. With, with the exception of humans, vegans universally care about the welfare of animals <clears throat> that may be found in constant, undaunted struggle against non vegans. Media savvy yet terrifying um, TIDR. Um, this, this struggle consists of spamming internet communities with photos of slaughtered animals and saying how cool it is to enjoy a Paula Dean recipe. That's the thing, it's like I fucking hate like seeing in my feed pop up of um, anti meat eaters, like, like vegan um, Facebook pages, and say, Oh my god, look at this cartoon of an animal being killed. I don't, I don't want to see fucking dying animals on my page, you more ones. Naturally, <coughs> na na naturally, no no vegan attack is complete without at least one reference to the church of veganism. And remember, it is self-evident that eating meat is the same as committing the Holocaust because sure, people died in World War II, but did you know how many pigs are dying? Well, there's loads of pigs out there at the minute, they're nicking people. Vegans will all will often accuse the non deranged the non deranged of bringing of, of of bringing about the coming apocalypse, usually accompanied by the by the vague statements such as meat is no longer sustain sus sustainable, therefore it will not help us survive in the future. A real whack in the minute they're trying to get us to eat fucking bugs so. Yeah, we'll be fucked no matter what. Such as n numerous statements may be m m may may seem to be at odds with the um, <clears throat> with the controversial concept of sustainability. But since no one takes vegan seriously to begin with, who fucking cares? Good. Therefore, Beyond Vegan is like the VGN who su someone who survives su survives of of the non-organic substances. Their diet consists of water, mineral oil and plastic, two of which are in fact organic. Special mention, <clears throat> special mention uh, Matthew Lush. Famous MySpace stick, stick cam whore Matthew Lush is known for his batshit views on animal rights such as Okay first off, I'm a vegetarian and I only date vegetarians. If you're not a vegetarian, you're stuck in the past. You might as well call yourself a homophobe or a stubborn Republican. You cannot, you cannot be gay and call yourself a Republican. Sorry, but you can't. Do some research. If you do, idiot. But yeah, the shit, the shit that they do to animals these days is uncalled for. It's a 21st century. You don't need meat to survive. Yes, you do. Warning: the following video contains insane levels of faggotry and fail, and it's been deleted. <laughs> Joking by his looks, however, he is in no position to call anyone a pussy. You can give him a ring any time, and <laughs> somehow they got his number. Oh, he willingly advertises it. Okay, no shit. For additional lulls, ask him if he thinks. It's paradox. It's it's pa paradoxical that he won't date a meat eater. Yet he has no crumbs about choking on a fat cock. Chew a burger as loud as he can for more man points. Also notably, he has con concerted that meat is concer c consorted that meat can damage your colon if you eat it, but is unconcerned about having a throbbing tran trans translucent shafts of meat meat pounding the shit out of the same colon <laughs> in the acts of a marathon of bat sex orgies. I take it this guy's a gay in other words. It's like he'd, he'd rather take a dick up the arse and then have meat rot his arse. <laughs> Special mention 
Ick Love Animals. Ick Love Animals is a batshit crazy vegan black person who claims to be a Wiccan and a member of the Animal Liberation Front. Her nonsensical and low lulzy videos on YouTube, on YouTube protest animal cruelty and theorize the sanctuary of phallic shaped crystals that were raped from reaped is it re oh, I think it's like raped from the earth she is a 32 year old black person from New York City and it's suspected to be a black person in hiding she has a tendency to delete her video shortly after posting and bit and becomes extremely butthurt if anyone attempts to troll her YouTube channel pro tip next time she up, up Next time, upload it to Live Leak. Uh, it's a bloody shame because Live Leak don't exist anymore. So like that, it's be good. Gluten raw free, gluten free raw veganism a journal. And we got some disgusting looking pictures. I think I can get away with it. It's nothing gross doing that. <clears throat> okay, so um, we have. On the second, this is like all 2011. Second of, uh, no, actually it's American, isn't it? So, um, fifth of February, I am, f I am 300 pound BBW. I am not ashamed of my size, but at the same time, I am a victim of a he 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 hetero normal beauty ideals, a s serenity society, and steadily available fast food. I'm also a victim of improper food education, so I decided to empower myself with raw foods. Oh, that can kill you if you're not careful. It's still recording. That's all right. I read on the raw food blogs that I'm not to blame for my serenity lifestyle and poor diet. I can blame society for providing me with fast food. Well, that's not society's problem. That's your fucking problem, because it's like... They don't force you to eat fast food. You're the one that's eating the fast food. You're the one that's getting impulsed to go there. The, the government... Uh, the, the government for not. E educate, educating me about fast about food properly. And my job... And the club for not allowing me to act, be active. you got a kid. You're too fat for every kid. My unhealthy journey begins. Or oh, my healthful journey begins. Um, so on the 19th of the same month I have eliminated all processed food from my house and replaced it with veg vegetables such as kale, which is fucking gross, spinach, broccoli, nuts, hemp and flaxseed. Eating hemp? Okay. What's flaxseed? I don't know what that is. I've already lost 20 pounds. My child appears to be pale and weak. Well, you keep feeding it diet food all the time. It's not normal. It must be the increased nut intake. Yeah, you shouldn't feed your kids nuts they might be allergic to it I read on the blog that he might be allergic to nuts poor child I'll remove them from his from the diet well that's handy at least <clears throat> on the 9th of March I may suffer from the same nut allergy as my young child I've lately been weak and lightheaded my nails are brittle and my hair is falling out you, you're dying that sounds like Curse this nut allergy. I don't think nut allergy makes that happen. On the 12th of the 4th, I've lost 40 pounds, but my weakness continues. I'm forgetful and hardly have the strength to, to make it to the grocery store for my kale ones. I read on the blog that some people can be intolerant to hemp and flaxseed. I have removed them from our home. Finally, health. That's the thing. It's like, <clears throat> if you want to go on a diet, you need to cut out certain things. You can't just go into a vegetarian diet and think that's going to cure everything. You need, you need to have a healthy balance of everything. And like, you can't just go on nuts and kale all the time. Like, how I do it, yeah, I try to do it. I sometimes go off the rails a bit. But I do try to lose weight every now and again. How I do it is not putting sugar on my cereal, cutting down on my cakes to none at all. And basically eating less each day. That's how I do it. And the rate just falls off, I can see. I mean, it gets to a point where it's like level all the time. But you got to keep trying. On the 19th of... of um, no, Yeah, that's um, April. My child is growing weaker. You need to take him down to the hospital then, don't you? You're killing him. He must, he must be sneaking dairy or gluten at his friend's house. 
for his well for his well being. I'll tie him to his bed. Fucking hell, you're a horrible mother. I love you, baby. Mummy's here to make sure. <laughs> yeah, she's a fucking psycho. I hope she got arrested. <clears throat> On the 30th of June, my skull is dull and cracked. Fuck it, you're killing yourself. I'm nearly bald and my vision has deteriorated. I now weigh 90 pounds. Holy shit, the detox continues. You're losing weight all the time. Oh, by the way, this fat old woman is her, and that's her afterwards. That's horrible. That is really horrible. Come on now. I know you're doing good, but you're doing it the wrong way. On the 14th of September, <clears throat> is it September or October? I think it's September. I'm having trouble separating my dreams from reality. My child must be doing better. He is crying less and less. Yes, he's, he's, he's going to be dead soon. I haven't shown up to work since May. My teeth are nearly flat from chewing. On the 16th of the same month, a surge of enemy crave protein. While clearing out my house of processed foods, bre bread, dairy, nuts and animal protein, I must have forgotten this strange room at the end of a hall. There is a roast pig lying on the bed. I break my diet to bury my teeth into its flesh, blood dripping from my chin. I feel I feel for the most meatiest parts I, as I grasp for air and go back in. The legs are now clean to the bone. It's oddly familiar, like an old family. Yeah, she's going delusional now. <clears throat> Trivia. Fruits are basically the tree genitals because they carry the tree seeds. According to vegetarians, eating away at all the plants and destroying is our, destro destroying our only source of oxygen. The environment will somehow manage to be saved by global warming in the end. <laughs> Stop eating our grass, in other words. Invented by poor people, vegetarianism has become, has since become a fad among the sophisticated liberals like Hitler, Hepperkitten and Adidzaid. This should be ignored by all costs. All costs. Interestingly enough, in a harvest of organic, of organic matter means the death of a fuckload of animals since a, since a field of grain is to ma is to mice and animals as a large bag of Doritos. To I classed they tend to stay to stay there when the when the freshers arrive. This is mildly ironic. Also, interestingly enough, plants are living organisms, and thus just like animals who cannot scream or move. And due to this, eating plants is no different from eating animals. And if the vegetarians really want to feel morally superior, they should they should not eat anything at all except absorb enemy from the moon. <laughs> That's true. Um, plants are living as well. So you, you eat a plant, you're killing a plant. Tofu is made from dryable curdled so, curdled soy milk from old newspapers. Well, it's salty as shit. It's horrible. Tofu is even. Even more iconic, I ironically, the major cause of cancer via food is not meat, as the vegetarians want you to believe, but GMO foods, as plants, foodstuffs, especially soybeans and tomatoes, are often GMO as they are labelled as organic. Eating plant foodstuffs simply increases your chance of cancer. Mm. That's why you got to like have it evenly. You, know, you can't just like live on plants all the time. All vegans should become cam whores because gelatin is used is used to hold silver hadle ha crystals at, in an um, emulation of virtually in virtually all f photographic f yeah photographic pornographic in photographic films and photographic papers. There's no substitute except for a digital camera. This is an urgent task if they. F if if they are they are to encourage the rest of us, the the the, the rest of the internet's not to use technology that that is obsolete a hundred years ago. It would be catastrophic if the entire human race were to turn vegan and stay that way. Not only would people become re weaker and crabbier, but over millions of years humans would devolve back into grazing animals, because you need meat. To, 
you, you need me be smarts mm -mm. <clears throat> the origin of the word vegetarian although the word vegetarian is commonly thought to have its origin from Cherokee the word for bad hunter recent discoveries has uncovered the remnant the, the remnants of a lost civilization that was the precursor of what eventually become the Cherokee nation from pictograms and verbal history it seems that the Cherokees were a splinter group that eventually left this fallen social structure due to the due to an increase of tribesmen that did not hunt and were too physically weak to gather any food. These ever increasingly non contributing outcasts place their hopes on the shoulders of their new leader, Cruz's cut <laughs> pronounced Warwick, who hyperfeased <clears throat> Who, who, who hypothesis there that their failure did not rest with, with the outcast but rather with the outed social structure and lower morals of hunters sensing the impending do total annihilation of his tribe's people the Kirokan hatched a plan to lead the vegan astarve people up to the up to the high grounds leaving him with only the words to eat and yeah we got um, some pictures here external links um, got a prominent page prominent vegan cult why vegans are so stupid one member of the DA says it's better to why well, it's better to eat meat we can think of a reason why it's okay to eat animals because it's it's okay to eat animals because they can scream when they die but eating plants is wrong because they can't Captain Pony Hawk tells it how it is and we got the vegetable cruelty website warning what vegans fail to understand is that suffering they in fact to count as fruits and vegetables and we got send this link to any vegan and claim it's animal protection site or some shit typical vegan enjoys its milk and a shock site for vegans um, see also all that bullshit vegan is part of a series on food and drink and is a part of a series on bad things that happens to animals oh yes oh yes indeed we have done this for almost 50 minutes. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end this video before my voice goes out. And I'll see you guys next time.